everyone. Hey everyone, welcome back to another whiteboard series. Today we're going to be talking about the VIX. Uh, this is something that I've been wanting to talk about. It's been on my list, but with yesterday's market behavior and market loss, I thought this would be a good time to talk about it since the VIX, which is the volatility index, spiked 40%. I'm sure most of you are not familiar with the VIX. As I mentioned, it's a measure of volatility. And what I mean by volatility is that's just kind of the movement of the market. Um, the bigger the spikes, the bigger the move up or down, the greater the volatility. If you think about it, it's trading kind of in a range. The more narrow the range, less volatile. We're not making big moves. But if the range that the, the prices are moving widens, those big movements now become greater, which represents greater volatility. The VIX is also referred to as the fear index. Um, and the reason that it's called that is it's calculated in a formula looking at pricing and options of the S&P 500. I'm not going to go too deep into details because it's really not that important for you. I just want you to know what it is. But it's based off of pricing of options. And as the VIX goes up, it's representing that there's more fear or more concern or anxiety in the market because investors are purchasing options to protect themselves on the downside. So it would lead short-term investors to think that the expectations are that in the short term the market might continue to go down. If you think back to 2008, 2009, if you heard about the VIX then, the VIX was very high. There was a lot of fear uh, in the market. This year, the VIX has been very low. If you've read anything about it, it's been on your radar, you know that it's at pretty much all-time lows and it's been riding there for a very long time. So while the VIX has been in the news as of late, it's been more because that it's been very low and there hasn't been a lot of volatility. Yesterday, the VIX pops 40%, the Dow's down 370 points, uh, because we haven't had very, very many big swings in the market. Uh, you see a little bit more anxiety with what's coming out of Washington and other global things going on. Um, so what does this mean to you and your portfolio? No one really knows. The VIX is an indication, it's set daily, it's looking out over a short period of time, over the next 30 days, what the expected volatility might be. So it's not forecasting a, another market crash, uh, but it's also not suggesting that we wouldn't have one. No one really knows. So for a long-term investor sitting in a globally diversified portfolio, the VIX really is just noise. The VIX is more valuable to day traders and short-term traders trying to get in and out of the market timing of what the overall sentiment is. But if you're a long-term investor, like I recommend most people to be, again, it's just noise. So I think it's important for you to know what it is. You might hear it in the news. If we have another couple down days in the market, I'm sure the VIX will be quoted that the fear index is, is rising. Uh, but you don't really need to be concerned about that because you're investing far longer than just the next 30 days. So I hope that gives you an explanation of the VIX. You feel a little bit more educated on what that means um, and why it popped yesterday up 40%. I haven't even looked to see what it is today. Um, so that shows you how much I really care about the VIX. So um, until the next whiteboard, hope you have a great day, a great couple days, and we'll be back with another whiteboard series here soon.